Morning guys, welcome to Plankin' in your PJs. We thought we'd mix up the scenery here and we're gonna work out in my room. We got crazy house this morning. This is little Miss Luciana, just woke up from her morning nap and we call that a Kit Kat Patty Wap nap when she takes little quick short naps. It was only about an hour today, so what are you gonna do? But uh, yeah, Cammie's busy on her iPad, so we'll see how that goes. We're gonna get started in about two more minutes. Hi, Emily, good morning. How's that baby doing? Oh my goodness. Hopefully you're just soaking up all those snuggles. Um, yeah, we're gonna get started in less than two minutes, so feel free to get some water, get stretched out. You guys don't need any weights or anything. You just need yourselves and a soft surface to work out on. Um, I'm just working out on the carpet here. If you wanna grab a yoga mat, that's cool too. So, I'm not sure. Ooh, I had a good playlist rolling here. Let me see if I can get it going, guys. About a minute until we get started here. So any dynamic stretching that you wanna do. Aw, of course, you got it, girl. Always here for you. Fridays at 9.30, planking in your PJs. And I'll be continuing this workout while we're all at home on social distancing, home lockdown orders here. So every Friday at 9.30. And also happy Good Friday. Well, not happy Good Friday, but you know, a solemn Good Friday for you all. I'm actually fasting today. Um, a lot of Catholics will fast on um, Good Friday as well as Ash Wednesday. So pray for me. Um, I'm drinking a ton of water while I'm fasting. Emily, are you fasting this morning too? Um, this is actually a good workout for that because um, there's no resistance. It's low intensity. We're going to be doing a lot of abs, um, just breaking a little bit of a sweat, elevating that heart rate a tiny bit. And it's kind of like a good distraction while you're fasting. So it's kind of, like I said, that low to moderate intensity workout, perfect for a fasting day. So are you ready to get started, little miss? She's having her bottle. Emily's fasting too. You go, girl. All right. So guys, we're gonna get started with our warm up here and that is going to be the walkout, of course. Let me actually turn this on its, no, I guess I'll keep it up like that because I don't know if I'll mess it up. Okay, all right guys, here we go. We're gonna start with five walkouts as per usual. Nice yoga-esque walkout. Inhale, reach the arms up and then you're gonna exhale, reach down towards the toes. We're gonna walk our hands out until we're in a plank position. I think you can still see me there, good. All right, hold that plank position for a moment. You're welcome to add a push up if you'd like, and then reverse that walk out, bring it in. Inhale up, and just flow right into the second repetition. Very good. Feel that nice back of the body stretch, getting that core warmed up. I'm gonna add the push up in right here. Perfect. You can always modify that push up by dropping down to your knees. I'll show you guys from this way. Here we go, number three out of five. Good morning. Hi. You can always kiss your baby if you want on the floor while you do these walkouts. Good. Two more here. All right. I actually had, like I said, an epic playlist for you guys. Some new stuff and a little bit of classic rock. But I'm waiting for my computer to restart. I don't know. I'm like technologically a little bit challenged here at times. And uh, I think I just need a new computer actually. Okay, one more. And we're gonna drop down to the knees and sit back into a child's pose. Definitely still in our jammies here this morning in my household, all good. Probably not going anywhere today. It's gonna be sort of a gusty, breezy, windy day. So not really a good, play outside, workout outside day for us. All right, come into that tabletop position. We're gonna alternate between cow and cat pose. So inhale, look up to the ceiling. Exhale, round out that spine. Tuck the chin down. Let's do a few more of those. Inhale up, feel that stretch in the abs. Exhale, feel that stretch in the spine. Good, three more, inhale. Exhale, setting that intention for your morning, for your day. For me, it's fasting, discipline. Good, inhale, finding peace and calm, calm in my heart and in my mind. Inhale, 
and exhale. Good, now let's come into a downward facing dog. Finish out that warm up by just pedaling out those heels. Feel that nice hamstring calf stretch here, pushing off the palms of the hands. Let your head and neck just relax down in between your arms. Pedal on out, good. And a nice strong downward dog. All right, guys, here we go. We're gonna start this workout with our plank, okay? Happy Planksgiving, right? No, not Thanksgiving. Easter is around the corner, right? Come on down to those forearms, 45 seconds to one minute on the clock. Let's rock this out. Here we go. We're getting that core fired up and set for the workout. I love starting and ending with planks. Feels so good, helps me contract my abs while I'm doing those squats, those lunges, those crunches, those push-ups, everything. Nice, guys. All right, hang in there. I'll tell you when we're at 45 seconds. You can always stop. If you're gonna strive for a minute, stay with me. You're 30 seconds in, ouch. Feeling this today. Definitely gonna need to drink some water throughout this fast that I'm doing here. All right, in three, two, one. There's 45 seconds. Hang in there for another 15. If you're going for that minute, good. Nice squeeze in the abs, feeling them engaged. Here's eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, drop the knees. Oh, sit back into that child's pose, very nice. And just breathe. Let's stand it on up slowly by doing the reverse walkout. Very slowly, inhale, reach the arms up and exhale down. If you're wondering what's going on here, I have a Mushu sticker on my hand and I have a Valentine's Day heart tattoo. That's what's happening with us this morning. Okay. So the computer is not ready to rock and roll for the playlist. I'm so sorry, guys. I wish I could get this going. Anyway, what are you gonna do? So we're gonna start with a plank with a row. So we're gonna be in a plank position and we're gonna pretend like we have weights in our hands and we're going to row on the right side and then we're gonna row on the left side. So each move is 45 seconds of work to 15 seconds of rest. We're gonna do two exercises alternating those two for two rounds through each and then we'll move on to the next superset. Sound good? Okay, here we go. Plank row, let's go down. Back to that plank position. We're gonna hang out in a high plank right here. 45 seconds starts right here. So we're gonna take those feet wide so we have a nice wide base of support. And we're gonna row that right hand up. Row the left hand up, perfect. Pretending like we have weights. Still squeezing that back. So even though it is a body weight workout, we don't have any weights. You can have weights if you wanna ramp up the intensity here. But I can still feel my upper back contracting as I bring my hand right up towards that armpit. Good. How's that bottle? Is it good? Yeah, good. She's got strawberries all over her face. We had strawberries for breakfast this morning, huh? And some puffs. All right, guys, hang in there. Couple more reps for 45 seconds. Let's do one more on each side, boom. And boom, always can rock out that child's pose to reset. You have 15 seconds, carefully. Let's stand it on up. Our next move is going to be a curtsy lunge. So you need some room from side to side here. So the curtsy lunge, we're gonna alternate to the right and then alternate to the left. Let's move all the toys here. All right, here we go. Let's rock out that curtsy lunge. So you're gonna take uh, one of those legs and you're gonna literally curtsy right behind, good. And then actually, you know what, so you guys can see me better. I'm gonna stick to one side. If you wanna do that, that's fine. Or you can alternate side to side, whatever you're doing, doesn't matter. Just make sure if you are gonna do one side that you switch to the other on the second round. Good. How you guys doing at home? How you feeling? You can get your own playlist rolling. I'm so sorry. Wish, wish my playlist was working this morning. Cam's got the iPad. Normally I would do it on there, but Doc McStuffins is a little more important for the um, effort of the household here. 
all right? So we're feeling this work right here in this lead leg as we curtsy lunge back behind us. Good. Curtsy, nice and pretty, good. And I'm kind of taking my hands out in front of me a little bit for balance, good. Let's do a few more reps. Curtsy and step it. Let's do two more reps here. And then we're back to that plank with the row, last one. Good, all right, shake out that leg. 15 seconds, you can always grab a quick swig of water while you're recovering. And we are back down to the floor. And three, two, one, here we go. Alternating from side to side. Now I'm feeling my heart rate elevated just very slightly. Nothing crazy. It's not a hit workout by any means, okay? That would be a little bit gross because I sweat a lot when I do HIIT workouts. Um, it would be a little bit gross in my pajamas is what I'm trying to say here. Good. So we're trying to not turn our shoulders too, too much. A little bit of a turn is fine. So you can squeeze that upper back, but we don't wanna see anything like this when you're doing that move. You wanna keep everything flat, everything square to the ground, okay? All right, how are we doing with time? Let's do 10 more seconds right here. Row, approximately 45 seconds. Don't judge me for a little bit over, a little bit under at times. Good, last rep. Always drop down to that child's pose. Recover in between, taking your time, adjusting between the positions. You don't wanna speed or stand up too fast, all right, when you're coming from like a lying down position or a plank position. We gotta kinda let that blood pressure um, adjust as we stand on up. Okay, are we ready? Curtsy lunge on the other side. So now I'm going to be lunging to the other way. Make sure that you guys switch legs. Here we go, 45 seconds, boom. Good, lunge back. And then tap that foot to the side. I'm rocking my Backstreet Boys t-shirt for y'all today. Woo woo, everybody. There we go, that's how we'll get the tunes. Rock your body, yeah. Everybody, rock your body right. Back streets, back, all right. These kids don't even know, they have no idea. All right, but they will know because I'm gonna be that embarrassing mom that rolls and picks up my kids from school and blasting Backstreet Boys in sync 98 degrees at like the middle school. They're gonna be so embarrassed. Okay, last repetition right here. Good, shake it on out. Nice, guys. There we go, that's our first super set complete. We did plank row with some curtsy lunges. All right, so, hello. How are you? I'm doing well, how are you? Hey, Maria, thanks for watching. What's up, Slade? Kristen, John, Rebecca. Thank you guys for tuning in. Bless you to the baby. Bless you. All right. Next superset, we're gonna be doing a full sit-up. So you can always use some resistance, a baby perhaps, um, if you'd like, or have someone hold your feet um, or place your feet underneath a like couch or an ottoman or something like that so you're not scooching around. Or you can just do your sit-ups on your own. And then we are going to alternate that with a glute kickback on the floor. Are you guys ready? Again, 45 seconds of work to 15 seconds of rest. Let's bust out these sit-ups, here we go. We ready? So if you have a weight, you can always take the weight all the way back. Then you're gonna do a full sit up up to the top and reach that weight all the way up towards the ceiling. Good. And reach. Hi. So we love it. Really feeling this in my upper abs as I do this nice stretch back, digging deep in the full core as I get that full range of motion Sit up all the way up to the top, using a little bit of momentum, that's okay. Good. Big exhale as you guys do that sit up, all the way up to the top. Ooh, feeling this in my arms too, huh baby? Couple more reps. Let's do two more, how about that? Ooh wee, last one. Awesome. Okie dokie, glute kickbacks, you are so good. So make sure you guys have some space behind you. You don't kick anything. So we're gonna be in a tabletop position, just like we were in the warm up. okay? Hopefully you guys can see me. I'm gonna move back just a little bit. Okay, so 
pick a side. How about right side first, just for good measure, so we know what we're doing here, and then we'll switch to the left. So you're just gonna take your right leg back. Good. And then you can bring your knee, drive it in towards your chest. Be careful of the babies. Good, kick it back, squeeze and engage that glute. Really feeling that muscle contracting. A lot of people, I know they have trouble kind of feeling that contraction in the glute when they squat or do certain exercises. So this is a great, great move to activate that booty right here, guys, good. So kick it up and you can also kind of flex those toes in towards the shin, that sort of helps you to really feel like you're kicking up that heel towards the ceiling, good. Trying to keep everything neutral, eyes looking down towards the ground. And this turns into a core move as well. If you drive, when you drive the knee in towards your chest, you really squeeze and engage those abs, good. Let's do two more reps. Last time, boom shakalaka, okay. 15 seconds of rest and then we are back to that full sit up. Hey, what's up, Lindsay? Thanks for watching. Good morning. Happy Friday, guys. Are you guys sweating with me at home? Who's sweating with me at home? Give me some love, give me some love. All right, full sit up. Round two, here we go. Four supersets total, guys. We are on superset number two if you're just tuning in, okay? Not too late to jump into this workout here. And you can always, if you're working or you're tied up with something, you can always check this workout later on my Figo Facebook page, it'll be up there. Woo, <laughs> smile. Yeah. Woo. Someone loves it. Hey, guys, get your kids started early, right? Get them used to what you're doing, used to the routine. They can join in if they want, or they can sit on their iPad and watch Doc McStuffins. I really don't care. That's what Cam is doing right now as I mentioned, and it's all good. That's her quiet time. She wants to do that, that's fine. She does, she does love to work out with mama. We go on walks and we lift weights downstairs in our basement. That's always fun. She rides her bike while I do my Peloton workout. Last repetition here. Boom, okay. Glute kick back on the other side. This is baby Luciana, she is eight months now. Nine months on the 26th, so, oh my goodness, time is just flying by with these babies. Soaking up all the love. Okay, 15 seconds of rest is up in three, two, and one. Switch to that other side, up. Drive the knee in, good. What are you doing? Are you gonna do happy baby pose? Happy baby pose in yoga, right here, guys. Good stretch, right? And I'm flexing those toes in towards my shin so I can really feel like I'm driving that heel right up to the ceiling, solid. Another way you can add resistance to this move, if you like this move a lot, you can always add like a resistance band, the kind with the handles, or you kind of get one of those elastic band things and you tie it around your ankle. You can grab onto that band with your hand. Just another way to sort of spice this one up, but I like this move, like I mentioned before, almost as a precursor to doing any sort of squat. So if I'm gonna do like a barbell squat or a goblet squat and I'm adding weights to it for like a tough workout or something, I like getting on the ground as a warm up and busting out this move right here. One more repetition. All right, here's what we're gonna do just to fire up this superset a little bit here. We're gonna do 20 seconds of pulsing on the right, 20 seconds of pulsing on the left, okay? So we did the right for the first round, so switch it on over, here we go, pulse it up. Pulse, 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 pulse. We're definitely feeling this on the leg that's balancing and stabilizing us as well, okay? But really try to get that right glute fired up. Here's eight, seven, six, five, four, three. We're gonna switch right away to the other side, Boom, here we go. About 20 seconds here. Pulse, pulse, pulse. Hey, Cam, are you okay? Hey, Cam. Three, here's two, and one. Good. When you hear crickets from your two-year-old, you know something's up, right? 
let's just go check on her, make sure all is good. Okay, grab a quick sip of water. We are on to superset number three. All right, she is engulfed in her show. All good. All right, we are excited. I know I talk about, and the burpee is going to be take it back in. You can add a little jump if you want. Okay, that's option one. Option two is you're just gonna take it really slow. Step, 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 and up. You can even do a walk out as well. Doesn't matter to me, just keep moving for that 45 seconds. Are we ready to go, guys? Here we go, three, two, one. Make sure you got a clear space behind you. Don't kick your kids, that wouldn't be good. This one is really gonna elevate that heart rate, but I do like doing a burpee for the abs because I really feel those abs as we do that frog jump from the plank back up into that squat position. All right, here we go. Someone is like this close to crawling. We all think that she's just gonna go right to like trying to stand up and trying to walk because she honestly just like crab walks backwards. I certainly think she could crawl to whatever she wanted to get to. But she's like, I just don't feel like it. Okay. Are you gonna crawl? There you go. Good girl. You are just so close, lady. Almost there, guys. Hang in there. One more rep. Boom. Okay. Whew, definitely feeling my heart rate elevated there. Hey, Stace. Hey, Hillary. Thanks for tuning in, guys. Good morning. Eight taps. So, coming on down, seated on the floor. Again, this is a good one to add some resistance to if you want. Let me just show you without. So leaning on back, upper body is at about a 45 degree angle to the floor. 45 seconds starts right here. So you're making an A, right? So we're taking those hands, tapping down to the hips on the ground, and then reaching up, tapping to the other side. Good. Here is how that looks with a baby. Tap, reach. A little more armsy here when you add the resistance, okay? And down, up, down. A little bit different than a Russian twist. A Russian twist, we're kind of just twisting from side to side like a belt, but you're adding that little reach into the top to get that nice stretch. Good, guys. Less than 10. Let's do one more to each side. OMG, love that. Okay, back to that burpee, round two. Quick transition, 15 seconds. Say hi, everyone. We got the next activity set up in case of a meltdown, okay? We can always let her jump. I do the same thing to Ricky, okay? Have all the activities set up, ready to rock and roll for him so that he doesn't melt down. Okay, here we go, 45 seconds. High option, jumping from the back up to the top. Low option, stepping back, stepping forward. Squeeze those abs as you hop on in. Good, good, good. Today's a hair washing day. I've had probably less and less of those since um, I'm like, why do I even have to style my hair right now? Um, so today's definitely a hair washing day. I'm feeling that. Be nice and refreshing, especially since I'm fasting. Give myself a little something, something to look forward to, I guess. I don't know. My friend Liz sent me this video that she took from the top back 16. Guys, let's do two more repetitions right here, wherever you're at. The top back 16 is our local news channels. Kinda, you can say it how it is. You can chime in, give them your two cents. And this lady was telling everybody about how ridiculous it is that the hair salons aren't open and um, how she wants the hair salons to open back up. And I'm like, lady, I am right there with you, okay? Definitely starting to see some grays here and just some super overgrowth. We cut my two-year-old's hair for the first time. That was actually pretty cool. And my mom did it and actually she crushed it. Ricky is reluctant to let us cut his hair, but I like his long locks. I'm trying to make him grow out the man bun maybe. Like he's got some long luscious locks right now. And I like the look, it looks good. Good, all right, side to side. Embracing these new changes, loving it guys. So if you got the resistance, reaching from side to side. Hi, 
Good, if not, you're just reaching and tapping the fingertips from hip to the top, to the other hip, to the top, good. Hang in there guys, almost finished with the superset number three. Less than a 30 minute workout right here. Ooh, feeling those abs, feeling those arms here. You're just getting big, you little chunk. One more to each side, guys. Oh yeah, love it. Love it, love it, love it. Okay, grab a sip of water. Last superset. We're gonna get someone in her little jumpy thing. I'll show you guys over here. Come on, let's show them how you, we don't call it jumping, we call it gumping. That's what Cam calls it. I don't know if you guys can see, but she loves this thing. Keeps her entertained for hours. And like I said, Ricky too. Okay, we are going to do a single leg squat. Okay, so we're gonna kind of come into like a skinny squat position with both legs. And we're gonna take that other side, we're gonna tap it out to the side and in. So we're really kind of distracting ourselves with this leg. This leg's doing the work, okay? So that's what that is, okay? It's a tap out and in with a single leg squat. And the next move is going to be a plank jack. Woo! Options for that, okay? If you don't wanna take it too, too um, of a high intensity move, you can always scale it back. Make sure you guys are chugging water today. Mm. Cheers, water social. Okay, <clears throat> here we go. Start in that skinny squat position, pick a side. I'm gonna tap out with my right leg first. So half of a squat, engage those abs, 45 seconds. We're gonna take that leg out and in, out and in. Now it's gonna make it harder the lower you are. Like I said, this is the leg that should feel really burny right now. <clears throat> burn, baby, burn. Disco Inferno. That's right. <clears throat> Hanging on, not letting yourself creep on up in that stance, just fighting to stay low in that isometric squat hold here. Isometric holds so, so great for strengthening, for toning those muscles, feeling those quads, feeling those glutes fired up. Just make sure that knee is in line or behind your toe, all right? Ooh, feel myself creeping up here. One inch lower, three more reps, two, and one. Woo! Oh my gosh, I feel that a lot, a lot, a lot. Hey, Stace. Aw, thanks, girl. Whew. All right, so plank jack, back in that plank position. We are not escaping planks with this workout. That is why it's called planking in your PJs right here for you guys, okay? We're gonna take that plank and we're gonna take those legs out and in like a jumping jack, but with our legs. But you can also alternate just side to side like this. Are we ready? 45, here we go, out and in. Gotta end on a high note here for this workout. Fourth superset, final superset. <clears throat> Hang in there, guys. The faster you go, the tougher it's gonna be, of course. It's gonna make it a little bit more high intensity. The slower you go, scales it down a little bit and then out and in. You're still gonna feel that in those abs for sure. Good, all right. Let's do 10 more seconds right here. Breathing on through. Last four, three, two, one. Always a good idea to do a child's pose in between. Yowza! Really feeling that in the upper body as well as we're just holding that high plank position. Awesome. Okay. We are back to that skinny squat with the tap out. Switching the skinny squat to the other leg. Tap it out with the left. Yes, I'm not a dancer by any means. I like to pretend like I am in another life. Here we go, 45. Out, in, in, out, in, good. Engaging those abs as you're going through this right here. Don't let up on those abs, never let up on those abs, baby. Out and in, fighting that creep. Creeping up in my stance a little bit here, so staying low, good. Here we go, out, in, out, in. What are you guys doing for Easter this weekend? You guys doing your own like fun egg hunts at home? What's going on? Is Peter Cottontail coming to your house? Um, Nona has already spoiled the crap out of my children. 
Camilla has been on a candy high since Tuesday. Um, we had cotton candy for breakfast this morning. Not me, I'm fasting, but she did. One more repetition. I'm trying to distract you guys. Ouch! Okay. Hey, Erin, good morning. Thanks for tuning in. All right. And back to that plank jack. Last round, and then we are going to finish out with our plank to close it. Gotta love that. Rock solid abs. Here we go, 45 seconds. Last round, let's go. You know, this Easter is much different than other years, and I'm just really trying to appreciate the differences and the blessings that come. I'm not disappointed. You know, do I miss seeing my kids choir and do I miss seeing all my friends? And I love going to church during Holy Week, but man, just really trying to appreciate this in a different way. We've been live streaming mass from the living room here. It's, it's been special, just in a different way. Here's eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Drop down to the knees. Oh my goodness. Sit on back, child's pose. Woo. All right. Oh my gosh, should we do it? Should we do one more plank? I'm dying. My abs are on fire, people. What are you doing to me? What are you doing? This one's getting her little leg workout in with her little jumping gym this morning. You go, girl. Yeah, baby. Show them how you go. Yeah. All right, we have to do this. What in the hell is wrong with me? All right, plank position, forearms, 45 seconds is the minimum, 60 seconds. Maxing it on out. I will let you know when 45 seconds is up. Strive for 60 with me. Are we ready? Here's three, two, one. Hang on here, baby. One of my songs for my playlist today was supposed to be 38 Special. Hold on loosely and don't let go. I don't know what the words there are. You're gonna lose control. Whew, all right. Almost done right here. We are 30 seconds in. Squeeze those abs. Put your mind somewhere else. Squeeze those abs. You got this right here. Somehow my watch face seems to change all the time. I don't know. I think it's probably just for my kids. 45 seconds is up in three, two, one. All right. Strive for that minute if you can. Or you just take a quick break and pop on back up. Meet me right back here. Last 15 seconds. Come on. Oh, my goodness. For five. Four, three, two, one. Sit back in that child's pose. Feel that nice stretch. You did it. Way to go, guys. We plant in our PJs. Who is really in their PJs? Sweating it out just a little bit. Love it. Okay, chugging water. Hey, Helen, thanks for watching. Good morning. All right, quick little stretch here. Hi, Christy. Thanks for watching, girl. I just happened to look at the screen and see you tapped on in here. Quick quadricep stretch for those um, squats that we did, single leg squats and curtsy lunges. We didn't do a ton for the lower body today. All right, the last workout, our workout number three that I did last Friday was a ton of legs. So you guys can always um, circle back to my other workouts just right on the Figo Facebook page, okay? This is workout number four four, I believe this morning, maybe five. Um, so there's tons of tons of workouts so far and I have tons of stuff on YouTube as well. Switch to the other side, 15 minute workouts. I did one of my own 15 minute workouts yesterday actually. And I loved it cause it's definitely a hit workout. And I just, the day got kind of, I got caught up in the day with, I had to go grocery shopping and stock up and we were coloring Easter eggs but Ricky took the girls outside. So literally all I had was 15 minutes and um, that 15 minute workout, hit workout made me feel really good. So if you guys are looking for those, another thing you can do, let's take those legs out. Inhale, reach the arms up. Let's reach down to the right side. Feel that nice hamstring stretch. You guys um, can subscribe to my email chain, my email list via my website, figofresh.com. 
So I usually send emails out on Fridays, trying to help you guys stay healthy while you're at home here. Inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, reach to the other side. So I didn't actually send out my Figo Friday email yet today. So if you get subscribed, I will promise to send you this workout link as well as the HIIT workout that I did yesterday. Also a core workout. Um, and then there via the YouTube page, you guys can find tons of my 15 minute quick hitter workouts. Inhale, reach those arms up. Exhale down, good. Step on in. Let's do a nice little side body stretch. Inhale, and then you're gonna exhale, reach up and over. Stretch it on out. We worked those obliques. Worked that rectus abdominis. Good. Inhale up, exhale, reach to the other side. I think my abs are gonna be a teensy bit sore tomorrow, and I hope they are. I love that feeling. Inhale, reach up, and exhale down. Guys, I definitely encourage you guys to do some more stretching if possible. Hydrate a lot today and enjoy that Easter weekend. Just soak up that time and that carefree timelessness with your families, with your children, with your spouses. Guys, I love you so much and hope you have a very happy Easter. Stay safe. Stay Figo. Stay fresh, kids. Mwah.